So far, we've only looked at cadences that end back on the tonic. Today, we're going to look at a cadence that goes in a completely different direction, the deceptive cadence. Instead of ending on the tonic, this cadence starts on the V chord and ends on anything but the tonic. Usually, this has the V chord resolving to the VI chord, but anything other than one will do. Let's take a look at a few examples to see what they sound like. This first example is in the key of C major. Now that we have the sound of C major in our ear, here's what the cadence sounds like. So as you can tell, going from the five to the six is unexpected, which gives this cadence its name, the deceptive cadence, because your ear wants to hear that five chord resolve to the one, like this, especially if that one chord was already established earlier in the music. Composers use this cadence to extend the musical conversation in the music, since it's a cue to the listener that more music is going to be coming. So you might have a phrase that ends on a deceptive cadence, followed by a phrase that ends on an authentic cadence, giving the music almost a question and answer type feeling. Now let's look at the same cadence in the relative minor. Here's what that sounds like. For some reason, I like the deceptive cadence more in the minor key rather than a major key. I'm not sure why, I just like the way it sounds. But the cadence serves the same function in the minor, giving the composer more options instead of always having to end on a one chord. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you get a better sense of what a deceptive cadence does, how it works. If you would like to learn more about music, please help us grow the channel by clicking that subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos. Thanks.